Hey guys, it's Jen and I create crafts. Today I'm gonna to show you an easy five minute tutorial. You're gonna need lights. I purchased these from the dollar store. You're gonna need one of these. You can buy these anywhere at Menards, Hobby Lobby, off of Amazon, but I purchased mine last year for I think it was 99 cents for a Menard, so sometimes you can get good deals on these. So I'm gonna show you a five minute craft and what to do with one of these. To truly make this a five minute craft, you can purchase your vinyl decals online from Hobby Lobby, um, from any craft store, uh, even Amazon. Or uh, the way I'm gonna do it today is gonna take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna create my own custom vinyl. Um, I'm making this specific one for Easter. Easter is right around the corner. Okay, so the next step is creating an SVG file if you do not want to go out and purchase one from Hobby Lobby or any craft stores or even Etsy. Um, this particular SVG I purchased, I will share the link below. I liked it, I couldn't make one myself, so I purchased it from someone, I will leave the link. Um, so I already have it saved in my projects, so I'm just going to go up here and click on my projects, go to the one I want to do customize it since I want to change the size of it. So I'm working with the glass block. So I know it's seven by seven, but I don't want it as large as the glass block. So I'm going to do it five by five. So you want to go up here, click the little unlock button, and then type in your dimensions that you want to use. My particular ones are just five by five. Um, it kind of looks a little plumpy to me, I guess. So I'm going to, you can always just stretch it out and make it a little, look a little bit better. You just don't want to go over the dimensions of your block. And since this one is not attached, you can see each piece on the side here are not attached. So when you would go to cut it, it would cut out each individual piece. So you want to go down here and just push attach. And that will make the whole cut cut together as one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and weed it and then show you the next step. Every month we do a craft bundle giveaway. It only takes 20 seconds to enter. Visit iCreateCrafts.com and click on the giveaway. So you want to make sure that you peel the sticker off and then use alcohol to clean your glass to get any residue or anything on there off. Then I'll put that away and let it dry. And the next step that I want to do is I weeded it all. Just wanted to show you the next part of taking the bunny off. And this is um, the vinyl from craftables.com. So if you go to shopcraftables.com, you can order up there. I love their stuff. I love their transfer tape. I think it works really well. It peels off really easy. It's easy to weed. But there you go. That's just the fun part. Estimate where it is. And this stuff works really well. It peels off really easy. And it sticks onto your project really nice. Let's just line it up. Put it down. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. Scrape it down with your scraper. Okay, so I put the, the vinyl down and I made a mistake and I'm going to show you that I made the mistake. You want to make sure that the hole goes on the bottom so when you put your lights in, you won't see your cord hanging out. So I made the mistake. I'm going to keep it this way. I got these battery powered ones but the bow is going to cover it as you see in the pictures. You could also use these that you can get from the dollar store. I happen to get these at Christmas time. They're also battery operated. But I'm going to put these on and then I'll show you the finished product.
Thank you.